Hey everyone, I'm Tara from Seattle Coffee Gear. You've probably seen dozens of espresso machines on the market and it can be extremely tough understanding the differences of each and why you'd pick one over the other. Today we're going to break down the pros and cons of three different semi-automatic espresso machines with similar features to help you decide what machine is best. Make sure to stay until the end of the video for a special surprise only for YouTube subscribers. Here we have the new Lalit Mara X, the Diletta Bello in black, and then the popular Rocket Espresso Apartamento. These three machines are all around the same price point and offer similar features, so when you're browsing online, it can be nearly impossible to know what machine to pick. All three of these are handmade in Italy, so quality won't be the differentiator. While these machines may look similar on the surface, it's the little details that help determine which one will be the right choice for you. All three of these machines are heat exchangers. This is a popular style of boiler for prosumer espresso machines in the $1,000 to $2,000 range. Heat exchangers are great because they give you relatively stable brewing temperatures with the added benefit of on-demand steam with one boiler and one heating element. A heat exchanger is generally a less costly way to get a machine that produces great coffee efficiently. Dual boiler machines give direct control over the temperature of the brewing water in contrast to heat exchangers which have passive control. More precise control and increased temperature stability leads to improved flavor quality, um, but it generally costs a little bit more. While all three of these machines share a boiler type, the Lalit Mara X offers some additional control options. So let's get into the features. With the Mara X, you can select the Steam X or Brew X modes to focus on flexibility for brewing and steaming or just brewing in particular. The Mara X has two temperature priority modes. The Steam X mode behaves like a traditional heat exchanger machine. It has plenty of power for steaming a nice latte, but the brew temperature may overrun, so you'll need to do a bit of a cooling flush. Brew X will give you the best performance brewing espresso shots, but steam power will be lacking. For those looking to get the best espresso possible out of their machine, Brew X will deliver top results for a heat exchanger machine. There are three selectable brew temperatures, low, medium, and high. These temperatures can be chosen based on your roast level, low temperature for dark roasts, high temperature for light roasts. The Mara X also features a unique custom pump with a long pressure ramp that works as a soft pre-infusion. This custom pump is not only quieter than the standard vibratory pump, but it has a longer pressure ramp up time for a longer pre-infusion. This will help users achieve more even extractions. The Bello and the Apartamento may not have quite this degree of temperature control, but they offer the same level of stability. For many users, simpler temperature control can be great because you have less of a learning curve. Temperature control is an advanced feature that won't appeal to every user. For some, the simplicity of, say, the Rocket Apartamento will be ideal. With no temperature control, coffee quality will be determined primarily on how well dialed in your grinder is. The Diletta Bello offers some temperature control, but internal access means you can't change them on the fly. The Elite Mara X has the most advanced and accessible temperature adjustments for users that want an extra level of control over their espresso. Temperature is one of the last things we adjust when dialing in, and we find that a lot of people don't adjust their brew temperature after the initial setup. Bottom line, more control is good, but not everyone will need it or want it. The E61 style brew group on all three of these machines means that all of them will have great temperature stability, but with Brew X mode, Lalit will be a bit more stable. Unlike the other two machines, the Diletta Bello gives you a bit more power flexibility with its 60 minute eco mode timer. The timer allows the machine to shut off after 60 minutes of idling. This is a great feature if you have busy mornings where you want to get your latte to go and don't want to have to worry about remembering to turn the machine off. The Bello and the Mara X's dual pressure gauge gives you more brewing data compared to the Apartamento. This dual pressure gauge is nice to have, but not necessary to brewing better quality espresso. Now let's get into the designs of these three. While design might not seem as important as internal features, 
For home baristas, it's critical to find a machine that works both how you want it to, while also going with your vibe and matching your other gear. The bellows design is something we at Seattle Coffee Gear love because it stands out on a countertop. There are three colors to choose from, stainless steel, white, and black, as you can see here. We've seen the black fly off the shelves because the color is really epic. Its design is timelessly Italian with an eye on modern kitchen minimalism. This classic shape is designed with optimized touch points, easy to turn knobs, more cup clearance, bigger water tanks, and deeper drip trays. Electronics were moved above the water line and eco mode added to save a little electricity. The Mara X's design is quite different from the Bellow. The idea was to mimic the classic E61 machines, but to be much smaller without the sacrifices. Competing against already compact heat exchangers for the smallest machine isn't easy, but Lalit manages to save you even more of that precious counter space. You can also choose between white, stainless steel, and black, all classic options. The black and white models come with these maple accents if you like that little flair. If you're looking for customization versatility, one design perk that neither the Bello or the Mara X offer is this unique case design of the Apartamento. The cutouts on the side of the machine are instantly recognizable, and with a variety of customizable side panel options, you can make this machine your own. If you're asking yourself, between the Bello and the Apartamento, what's the difference? Truthfully, these two have very comparable features, so the answer comes down to which machine design do you like best? So when picking a machine, you wanna ask yourself these three questions. What's your style? What would look best on your counter? Do you see yourself tinkering with different variables and tweaking your settings to make new coffees every week? Do you prefer milk drinks or straight espresso? Based on your answers, you can choose between the Bello, the Mara X, and the Apartamento machines, or something a little bit different. If you have more questions, ask us in the comments below or chat online with our team at seattlecoffeegear.com. As you can see, all three of these machines hover around the same cost and offer similar features, but when it comes to making a decision, I'm sure you have one machine that you're liking more than the others. Maybe not, maybe you love all of them like we do. So if you're still watching, you get a special thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel, which if you're not subscribed, go subscribe. You can get a free bag of coffee with any purchase of $50 or more with our promo code, give me coffee. You can use this code until March 15th, 2023. This is only for you, YouTube. So cheers to you and we'll see you in the next video.